to pull your attention to this amazing power of prayer points. For long now, we have we seem to neglect it. But God say, no, 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 no. This is remember before you commence your ministry. This is what God gives you. When I was released from scorn, I went to prayer mountain. God gave me a revelation. God said, look, don't start the ministry yet. I want to prove to you that I'm the same God. Yesterday, today, and forever. Stay put. Be praying, be praying, be praying. Just come out in a small room. Preach. Go back to your closet. Come out and preach. Go back to your closet. I want to use this amazing power of prayer point to rub miracles on your behalf before you come out. If you go to social media today, when you hear amazing power of prayer point, just scroll, click, and see. Fibroids, blindness, deafness, uh, cripple, different miracles. I don't think I've even done anything concerning what that amazing power of prayer point has done. What God showed me about that prayer point. Even before ministering due from heaven, you're supposed to be ushered into the bedroom of God. That is the duty of the amazing power of prayer point. It will take you to God's bedroom where you are no longer yourself. Where you cast out your self-sufficiency, pride and arrogance, humble yourself. And God gave me the secret of King David, which is Psalm 51 and Psalm 121. If you have that prayer point and you mean it, but the key to that prayer point to work in your life is forgiveness. You must forgive. If you don't forgive, if you have hardened heart, you cannot forgive those who have offended you. Forget about the prayer point. Don't use it. It will not work for you. You keep malice, you keep grudges in your heart, forget it. But once you release forgiveness, wow. Before you finish reading that amazing power prayer point, you find yourself on the floor. Go and watch the video on YouTube. That's what I'm talking about. So we're going to be privileged to listen to a testimony now. A testimony about that amazing power prayer point. This is to let you know that whatever, any item, anything, somebody enjoying the grace of God touches or is given by God, don't joke with it. Listen to this testimony. My name is Princess Stella, and I'm from Nigeria, but I live in the USA. And last year, I came to Nigeria to finish my house, which I have built for the past seven years. And I wasn't be able to, because of the attack I've been receiving, so I abandoned the house. And um, last year, I came in and I finished the house. Like It was like 90% done, but... I was just too scared to stay in it, but after that, I'm like, okay, I can have this house. It's on a whole, the whole compound, and I'm just sleeping in the hotel. I said, let me go home, and I went and I came home um, in June last year, and I was able to finish the touch, and I was there for like two months. So after that, I went back home, and um, two months later, I wake up one morning and I feel like I seeing a shadow of snake, like a big snake, like in my, in my front. So at first I thought I was like dreaming, but it wasn't a dream. My eyes was actually open. I was awake, but I'm seeing like a shadow of snake trying to like bite me or something. So that's how it all started. And I didn't take it serious at first. And then throughout that day, I'm seeing it and I'm just praying. I don't know what was going on. First of all, before I, before I go to this testimony, let me actually tell you guys how I, uh, how I found out about this, about where's my Daniel. Uh, at about nine days after Papa died, uh, T.B. Joshua died, so I wish I had gone back to the state. And I was in my dream, so I was on the streets, I don't know where I was, but like my husband, like really, really sick inside that dream. So I was crying for help. I didn't know what to do. So I saw uh, Papa pass, pass me with the disciple following him. And I said, please, man of God, help me. My, my husband sick, man of God, help me. But I know very well that's, that's who I saw. But when it turned around, it wasn't him. It was, was my Daniel inside that dream. And I'm, I'm not really familiar to him. I don't really know him like that. That was my first time, like, like really, really seeing him. So he, um, he told me what was going on with my husband. And I told him, I said, I don't know what's happening with him. He's acting strange. He's acting funny. And he told me to stay where I am. He said, keep on praying. 
and he took my husband from me. He, he went out, I don't know, somewhere else. So she started praying for him there. When I wake up, it was a dream. And that was my first time. And I said, I didn't even know he has a church already. I didn't even know all those things. Okay. That was a point of correction. I'm not the one you saw. But it was Jesus that appeared before you. I don't appear to people. <laughs> Please. I, don't, I have no strength to appear to people. But God wants to promote his works in my life. That is why he's using my image to appear to people. I'm not the one. Don't think I'm the one. Don't go and say, yeah, Pastor Fernandez is moving from one place to another. <laughs> I'm here in Nigeria. But Jesus is everywhere present. So when he wants to promote his work in your life, he will use your image to appear to people so that he will take all glory. So I'm not the one. Uh, you saw Jesus. In wife, in wife. <laughs> Thank you. So uh, when I wake up from that dream, I'm thinking, I don't even know this guy like that. How come I'm seeing him in a dream? So it was when during Papa's burial, he was using candles to with the youth all over the, uh, Lagos. So because I, I was watching everything, I'm like, that's him. So that's when I really focus attention on him. That oh, that's him. So then I went on YouTube. I started researching him, and I see that. He already um, out of synagogue. I didn't even know. I thought he was still there. That was my first time knowing that. So, but anyway, so I started watching him sometimes. I watch him sometimes, watch him on TV. So till this incident um, happened, that was after I came back from Nigeria now, that all that dreams and whatever. So, and when, then uh, after I saw him in the dream, that's okay, a month later that I received an attack, um, seeing a snake. And at first, it started in a dream, and now he graduated to where I see, it, even when I'm driving, I'm seeing a snake. I've tried, I will have an accident in December because of this. I didn't know what I was doing, so I, I saw the, the snake, and, I, and I, then I had an accident on that. So I started seeing it, and I, and I was scared. I don't know what I was doing. I feel like I'm running mad. Even when I'm at work, I feel like I'm, I'm seeing the snake. I'm seeing the snake shadow. And sometimes I feel like shot Jesus, and everybody just turn around looking at me like, uh, like I'm crazy. Even my husband think I'm crazy. Everybody around me think I'm crazy, but I'm telling them this is what I'm seeing: a snake trying to bite me, like a big old snake. And it's not one, it's not two. I see a lot of them. So, and then I remember. So I call. I said I remember uh, Pastor Daniel because when I was doing the research trying to know who, he, uh, you know, what he's doing, I saw the prayer point on YouTube. So I remember the prayer point that I saw it on YouTube. I'm like, okay, let me go. So I googled the uh, the the test. The, I mean, the, the number, and I called the number, and then uh, I, somebody talked to me. One of the guys talked to me, and then said, I said I, I told him what I was going through. That it's been it's been like four months, and I'm suffering, and I even don't, can't go to work anymore because of this. Because I feel like I'm going to run mad some, somehow. And he said, he told me that the man of God is not around right now, that he is in the mountain praying, but he will send me a prayer point. He will send me a prayer point. So I'm like, first of all, I just explained to this guy that I have a serious problem that I've been, I've been seeing a snake trying to beat me in the, in the real life. He's talking about prayer point. I, I want the man of God to talk to me. I want, to, I want the man of God to pray for me. He told me, just believe, and if you have any grudges in your mind, Make sure you ask God for forgiveness and pray with the prayer point. You will see what God will do. So I said, okay. And I wasn't, I didn't even, I wasn't happy. I didn't believe it. I, I'm like, prayer point can't do this. So I, I received the prayer point. I didn't even use it. When I, it sent it to my phone and I printed it out on, on my computer. I didn't even use it because I didn't believe in it. I thought it was just a joke. And so the problem became really, really serious. Like really, really serious now. That by the time I lost my job, that's when I know that the problem is really, really serious because I don't sleep at night. I don't sleep. I sleep. I can sometimes, I, I know, just one hour, because as soon as I close my eyes, the attack would literally, I, the attack happened in daytime, but at night is the worst one. So I don't get to sleep at all. For, so for a few months, I didn't sleep. So I, I, I always, I always uh, go to work very late, and I, I got fired from my work, from, from my job. So anyway, so I'm, and then I remember that I have this, now let me go use this uh, prayer point, even though I don't believe, but I, I just ask God for forgiveness, and then 
asked, I asked God that if there's anyone that I've offended or whatever, I say, God, forgive me my sins. And those who have trespassed against me, you know, I raised Psalm 20, I mean, Psalm 51, as according to the prayer point. So I followed the prayer point, and I used the prayer point to pray. And before I even go to one or two lines, I found myself spinning. Like I was spinning, I didn't video that, uh, but I was just spinning around, spinning around, and I found myself on the floor. And then I wake up again. I'm like, oh my God, this is this this prayer point. So I started praying with it every day. And gradually, gradually in the daytime part, I don't I no longer see the snake anymore in the daytime. And then at night they will come to attack me. So one night I prayed with a prayer point and I went to sleep. And inside and I, and I, and I was in a dream. I was dreaming and I found myself standing by the bedside, by my bedside, uh, with my Bible in my hand. And I, then I've seen my, 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 maybe it's my spirit, I don't know, I've seen myself laying down again with a snake running around me. And then that's when I, see, I saw uh, uh, Wise Man Daniel came, with, he wearing white, and he came fighting the snake. So he removed, my, removed the snake from my body. I, I, it's like my body, my, I don't know if my spirit, because I'm watching it. It's like I'm watching a movie. So he, he, he removed the snake from my, from my body, and then my spirit cannot stand up and come stand uh, close to me. Why he was fighting, fighting with that snake? It's a big snake that comes from my family, my mother's side. They have this idol that you have to, like, when you get married, you have to, like, bring your husband to the, to the, to the idol place to, like, Whatever they do, some rituals. So I didn't do that because I'm a Christian, and every time that's why the snakes are attacking me. So like a big snake. So he he uh, this, threw the snake past uh, through my window, and for for some reason, I saw him outside. I was looking inside the dream. He was fighting with the snake, and he used a chain to chain the snake. He chained it, and he keep on chaining it, chaining it, chaining it, and he locked the padlock that he used to chain the snake. And he locked the padlock, and it didn't even it didn't stop there. And for some reason, there was a hole uh, in past my backyard. There was a hole. I don't know what kind of I don't have I don't have no hole in my back my, my backyard. But inside that dream, there was a big old hole. He put the snake in there and covering up, and and then uh, put a chain. I mean, put a chain on on, on that on that uh, cover, and he and he used a padlock on on that on that. That was the last time I saw the snake. Wow. The person you saw on white was the angel assigned to deal with that snake. You can imagine. Because he, she was posing like a doubting Thomas from the beginning. Imagine when they gave her the prayer point. She was expecting to hear me say, be he, be deliver her on phone. Be he. And uh, it was one of the advantages that received the call and said the prayer point to me. Say, ah, prayer point. I was expecting to hear from this wise man to pray for me. This man was very proud. <laughs> she now went and dropped the prayer point. That was when the devil not dealt with her the more. And she picked this prayer point. Psalm 51, Psalm 121. The secret of King David. Jesus appeared in white. And made it very clear to her. She saw herself standing as well as her image on the bed. Coiled on by the snake. Jesus Christ came, remove the snake, chain the snake, padlock it, drop into the pit, hell where it belonged, chain it again and padlock it. And after that incident, encounter, tell us what happened. First of all, uh, you know, people will not understand what I'm talking about. Until you are actually being attacked with, with something like that, you will not understand what I'm saying. It was a serious issue. It was a serious issue that I'm even calling my family. I called my mother and said, just in case you didn't hear from me, I thought I was going to go mad in another man's country. That's, you, you know, it was a serious issue. It was a very serious going on for months. So, after that, I didn't see the snake no more. And I just watched the, some of the YouTube video. And on a Sunday, I follow up. Um, on the church, and then um, so I said, I have to come uh, give testimony, so I went online, and I googled the uh, 
the testimony uh, number and I called them and uh, somebody answered me and they said and I told them what, what what had happened that I got delivered from um, a, a spiritual attack the snake attacking me and they said they told me to thank God and just give glory to God for what God has done and I'm like that's it because the person over the phone didn't know what I was going through I know what I was going through I said that's not enough I have to come over to, to, to let the world know that we might have something out there on YouTube actually going to save your life. Clap for Jesus Christ. No, no, wait. Don't go yet. Okay, I have something to show. For you to know how serious it was. You can see her shedding tears of joy. How serious it was. He who feeds it knows it best. Experience, they say, is the best teacher. Just ordinary paper. There's nothing like burn candle for 31 days, go to the mountain for 250 days, bath naked in the river. Just prayer points, paper. Not even here in Nigeria, outside the country. And she decided to travel from that country, from where? United States. From USA, just because of his testimony. Because she knows what God has done for her. And you have this prayer point, you just drop it under your bed. You are waiting until Satan did that to you. <laughs> Before you run, go and pick it. Hey, value what you have. This prayer point, ha. I know when God gave me this prayer point, I promised God that when he gives me my own ministry, structure and everything, the prayer point will be designed in that way. I will be there for seven days to bring back the glory of it upon that uh, arena. When you enter there, you see what will happen. When God showed me this prayer point, I saw a hand like this. Mighty hand that can cover the whole earth. The paper was like this. Under, the mighty hand was on top with dazzling fire around it. That paper, does just like a scroll. You know scroll, ancient scroll. Very dirty, ancient paper. No paper that's been done. Just like that. Ancient. With tons of fire writing those words. I woke up and I remembered in total every word on that paper. If you know what, what this prayer point stands for, you know joke. Go to YouTube and watch. Just log into it. Amazing power prayer points and see testimonies. You will know that God is great. Once again, I'm not the one. I can never take glory. God of Prophet TV Joshua. Thank you. So the testimony didn't stop there. So after I bought my ticket, trying to come down here, and um, because with the COVID, it's still really much in America. So I, because I had lost my job, I hadn't even been going anywhere. So then I bought my ticket. I said, I have to come give testimony as I have promised God before I use the prayer point that if you deliver me from this, I will come give testimony. I said, I have to come give testimony. So Love I for Jesus my... Christ. Love for Jesus Christ. She free all the way from United States of America to share this testimony. This is an appreciative heart. A Christian in deed and in conscience. Conscience stricken. Say, no, 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 no. My conscience can never allow me to have rest of mind until I come to appreciate what God has done. She would have forgotten about it. Nobody would know if she didn't tell us the testimony. But she flew all the way from America because of the testimony. And I want to assure you, the God that started the job of deliverance, healing, breakthrough, and success in your life will never leave you until he accomplishes his victory. That's God for you. When you appreciate him for the little he has done, he will do more and more and more and more to the amazement of all our sundry and to the shame of the devil who wanted to destroy your life. That's God for you. Uh -huh. So I bought my ticket, so like three weeks before I travel, and then, then one day my husband just came back from work they just sent him, sent him from uh, from work to the house, and I was surprised to see him. And he said he just got tested uh, COVID, and I'm like, oh my God, this is another thing again. I'm trying to travel, and because if you, the the rules is that you have to be tested uh, negative for you to travel, and I said, okay, I said, what am I going to do now? And it's my husband. I have to take care of him when he has COVID. So I started taking care of him, and then after a week, I started having symptoms. My, my chest is hurting, my throat is hurting, I can't even breathe. 
like I was right. shivering, like everything. Like, like he was the one that got the Kobe across, but I was the one like really, really sick now. So I, I just. You know, you know, these Americans, fresh, 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 you know what I'm saying? And the rest of COVID, you only hear COVID, but the rest is not here. This is the COVID, this is the COVID, this is the COVID. Let me explain it. Ha! Another bigger testimony. Another bigger testimony. You know, Satan is always waiting for you at the point of your testimony. When she wanted to come for her testimony, she was tested positive to COVID 19. She used the prayer point again. And it was negative. Ha! You see, you see, they are clapping now because they didn't hear you. You said this is COVID. This is COVID. <laughs> so that is it. That's why I had to cut her. I said, oh, Madam, please. I'm in Nigeria. I will tap it. <laughs> I was hearing COVID. 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 Whereas there is a bigger testimony than COVID. Wow. So can you see? Look at it. When she was positive. And when she was negative, that's it before. Uh -huh. Now so, you can speak in line with the, what you can okay. see. Even if you don't hear, you so, can see it. Um, so, like I was taking care of my husband, so he was sick for COVID, so I got the COVID from him. And then I went to test because I was very sick. Um, I, I work in the hospital, I know the symptoms of the COVID and stuff. I'm like, so 2020, there was really, really COVID stuff, and I was working in the ICU. I never even had the COVID throughout that time. So now that I'm about to travel, that's when I'm getting the COVID. You heard it. Let me explain because, you know, COVID, COVID, you know how that's that. Let me break it down. I'm here to break it down. <laughs> she worked in ICU where they normally keep people that have COVID-19. She never had COVID-19. Not until she decided to come for testimony. Can you see where Satan was waiting for her? Ha. Uh huh. So I was like, this is an attack because the, the devil don't want me to testify what he has done, God has done for me. So I went to test, I had a COVID, right? So I was just, I, I don't know what to do because I was very, very sick. My husband became well and I'm the one sick now and my the COVID refused to go away. And then, then I said, okay, you know what? I, I also, the same prayer point that I have before, the same God of yesterday, today and forever is still right here in my house. I'm gonna use it again. So I wake up one morning, I, I can't sleep. My chest hurting, it's like somebody pounding on my chest. It's really, really bad. And then I wake up that morning and I take the prayer point and I pray with it. So this time, I didn't even, I just, uh, I went to for the first line and then the second line, when they say COVID, before I say COVID, I didn't even say it out of my mouth. Something just slipped from my throat lift from my throat and I feel like something just lift on my throat and that's the part that I can't even breathe that was so stuck up I can't breathe that's the part that has been I've been suffering from so that thing just lift on my throat and I came into my mouth I said let me go through uh, spit it out and when I got to my bathroom I started vomiting I said vomiting, uh, the first vomit, I didn't even video because I didn't, because I, I was very sick. I, it was towards the, after I vomited for the first time that I even gave myself to go say, let me go take my, uh, take my phone and, and record because I was very, very sick, very weak too. And then I, I threw up the second time and then that was, that happened on Monday, uh, then on, on Tuesday, and, I mean on, on Wednesday I went to test. And even when I was, even when I was going to test, I didn't even, I was still doubting, like, wait a little bit, let God hear you first before you go test. It's too quick because I, I did the prayer point on Monday and on Wednesday I go test. I'm like, oh my God, I'm probably going to do the test again because I wasn't even sure that I was healed from it because I was very sick. And I was just praying so that on Wednesday, when the test, the time they told me to come to get the test result, I didn't even wait. I was I just kept calling them. When is where is my test result and what was the result? They said we don't have the result yet because we do PCR when you travel out of the country. You don't do the regular test. You do the PCR. So I want to do the PCR because the PCR will actually go deep down to get the virus wherever it's hidden. So and I did the PCR just to be sure. And then this that that day I, after I called them about a few hours later they called me. They said my COVID. The COVID test is, is negative. Mm. 
Wow. To cut the long story short, because of time, you have the amazing power of prayer punch with you. Yes, you have it with you. You are in the best position to give advice to all who are watching, especially those who have this very amazing power of prayer point and done this somewhere, just like you did earlier on, before God proved his mightiness in your life. What word of advice do you have for them? People of God, I didn't just stand here to, to, to talk. I'm here to prove that God can use instrument, can use instrument like this to actually change your life. I didn't, I'm not here just to talk. I'm here, of course, I'm talking out of my experience of this prayer point. Please don't neglect anything that comes from the man of God. Don't neglect it. Because I did neglect it. My problem would have been well, would have been so way sooner if I had paid attention to what God has actually given us to our man of God, wise man Daniel. He gave this prayer point and I dumped it. I did not even think about it. I didn't even believe in it. But right now, I'm saying, anyone watching me right now, if you go into any attack, any situation, it, it don't have to be what I went through. It can be just you seek from something else, this menstruation and everything. You can just use this prayer point. All you need to do is believe. Believe is the answer. You just have to believe, and you will see the handwriting of God in this prayer point. I urge everyone out there, if you can't come over, it's fine. Just use the prayer point and just you will see what God will do in your life. And make sure when you when God does something for you, make sure you tell the whole world so that He can do more in your life. Clap for Jesus Christ. Clap for Jesus Christ. Yes. Whatever God has given to a true man of God. You heard it from her? Don't joke with it. The same thing happened when God asked me to release his handwriting in form of the mark of life to your homes. This handwriting of God came in form of frames, calendars, wristbands, stickers, and dew from heaven. You saw what these things are rotting. This is where you know that I'm not the one. It is God. So, you have this wonderful testimony from this lady. Is it wristband you have? Calendar you have? Frame you have? Don't joke with it. And I told you, once you receive this calendar or the frame, just make sure you put it at the very position whereby when somebody opens your house, they will search it first. Forget about the picture. The picture is only, to, you know, it's only directing you to me. That's all. Oh, who, who owns this? Oh, wise man Daniel, your son, your boy. Your house boy, wise man Daniel. Just call me any name already. House boy, foolish boy. <laughs> I'm, I'm the one. The picture you see there is the picture of your foolish boy. House boy, I'm the one. But the main thing that's working there is the handwriting of God. Once demons sight it, they are in trouble. That's it. The same power of God that brought about the amazing power of prayer point brought about these handwritings of God. Don't joke with them. Don't joke with them. Let me just show you a clip of wristband. See this wristband? The one I release you, I also joking with. You don't know the value. See what he did in the life of the sister that gave testimony. Just watch and see. Just collecting the wristband. She was off. Elohim is here. Elohim is here. When the storm of life came crashing, he was there. because they are so busy that's why they could not remember the clips really i started here i said no no we must show this clip to let people know <laughs> i don't know how to describe it ha. <laughs> and i'm very sure that day can, what can you somebody give me handbags i'm very sure she must have you know how beautiful she is can you have walking inside there majestically without knowing that let me use your handbag don't worry you know ladies they, they, it's their nature you can't blame them that's why they were giving the wristband. 
She never knew that there's something in her that needs to be exposed. And go on looking at her. God say, you come and collect it. <laughs> God say, come and, come and collect it. Mary she stretched her hand. Wahala has started. If she knew that she would be embarrassed that way, she would not dress like that and carry that handbag. Right there. Even she didn't even know where the handbag, when the handbag dropped out of her hand. <laughs> this will tell you that God is an extreme machine. If maybe you are coming to you, you extreme you, what is not good, you will bring it out of you. So that you go back with testimony. Can't you see that the lady is even more beautiful than she was before she gave the testimony? That's God for you. He's the highest potter. He will mold you beyond your expectation. So thank you very much, my sister. Thank you. God bless you. That's it. Beware of fraudsters. Viewers all over the world. It has come to our attention that some fraudsters are going around requesting for funds from people who are too desperate and impatient to follow the right procedure in order to locate the right channel or the right source. These fraudsters parade themselves as representatives of Elohim Ministry, Wise Man Daniel Ministry, or Wise Man Daniel himself. They are fake. They are fraudsters. Please do not fall for their tricks and tactics. Below are some of the fake YouTube channels and social media handles created by these fraudsters in order to deceive you, our viewers. are our official social media accounts and contact details. Our official YouTube channel is www.youtube.com forward slash C forward slash Wiseman Daniel Ministries. Our official Instagram handle is Wiseman underscore Daniel Ministries. Congratulations viewers all over the world. We are now on Facebook and on Twitter. Our official Facebook handle is facebook.com forward slash Wiseman Daniel Official. Our official Twitter handle is twitter.com forward slash WMD Ministries. Our TikTok handle is at Wise Men Daniel Ministries. Our official website addresses are www.elohimonline.org. www.christstandard.tv Our official email addresses are info at elohimonline.org and info at christstandard.tv These are our contact details and they are all available on WhatsApp. Our prayer request line is plus 234-902- one four seven zero two four seven. Our testimony line is plus two three four nine zero one five one one three zero zero two. Our inquiry lines are plus two three four seven zero four zero nine four five zero zero seven and plus two three four nine zero four eight eight two four eight seven four. Our partnership lines are plus 234-703-144-8611 and plus 234-906-141-4886. And do remember, all of these numbers are available on WhatsApp. Viewers all over the world, note that any other website addresses, social media handles or contact details apart from the ones we have listed above are not from Elohim Ministry, Wise Man Daniel Ministry, nor from Wise Man Daniel himself. God bless you. Elohim, God lives in us. John 14 verse 23.